Hello everyone. Today we are going to talk about Canopy. Now Canopy is one of our databases where you have access to hundreds of videos. Now Canopy is an app that you can download on your phone, your tablet, or your smart TV so you can really watch movies wherever you go. Now to get to Canopy, you're going to go under eResources and click on Videos. And Canopy is this first link right here. Now with Canopy, you get 10 checkouts per month. So you'll click on this link to get started. My version automatically defaults to say Lane Libraries in the corner. If yours does not have this, just click on Find a Different Library and then find your library under the Public Library section. And in here, um, Lane Library shows up here. You can also just search Fairfield, Ohio. And I'll say Fairfield Lane Library, that's us as well. And then it'll pop up on the map and you will hit select this library. Now this is where you're gonna type in your library card number and your library pin and hit continue when you're done. And when you hit continue, it is then going to ask you for your email address and to create a password for Canopy. And once you have created this email and password, you no longer need to log in with your library card number. And for those of you that already have an account, you'll just hit the login button up here in the right corner. And you will type in your email address and your password. Now this is Canopy's home screen. And one thing that is really great about Canopy is that everything you see on your screen is available now. There are no waiting lists and everything that you check out will return when the time is up. Now each video checks out for three days. So you have three days to watch your movie or three days to watch your movie as many times as you want. Now up here, if you click on browse, you can definitely browse different movie genres as well as documentaries if you're interested in that. Or you can also just look down here in the categories that they have listed. This is going to look very similar regardless of what device you are using. It's always gonna have this type of interface. Now to find out more about a movie, all you have to do is hover over it with your mouse or click on it if you are on a tablet or your smartphone or your TV, and it will give you a little synopsis about the movie right here. Now you can add it to your list, and what that does is it just starts collecting the movies that you wanna watch. So this list is totally customizable by you. So I will add this to my list, and then if you wanna watch it, you'll click this red watch button, and it'll open up in your window. To play, all you need to do is select the play button right here in the middle. And then you have options here. You can go full screen. You can do closed captioning. You can also change the speed that the movie is playing. Now, if you were to watch an R-rated movie, like on Chelsea Beach, let's click on that one. That one is going to have a pop-up where you have to check mark if you are 18 years or older and then hit play video. Now up at the top corner, there is a number and this number is the amount of checkouts that you have left this month. Now, as you can see, I've already used one of my checkouts and then I used a second one with the movie that we just started. So I'm down to eight checkouts per month now. Now to look at the movies that you currently have checked out, you are going to hover over your name up here and then you are gonna go to your viewing history. And this is gonna show you all of the movies that you've started to watch. So I have watched four movies on Canopy so far. And the ones that you have checked out is gonna have this green continue watching button. And the ones that are not checked out are gonna have an orange watch it again button. If you wanted to look at your watch list, if you have started clicking that add to my list button on movies, 
All you have to do is just click up here on my watch list and it'll show you every movie that you've added. And once again, this is completely customizable. You can remove the movies that you no longer want to show up on your watch list. You can also look at your comments if you decide to start adding comments to movies that you've watched. And you can look at a playlist if you've started to create one of those. To create one, all you have to do is click on this create a new playlist. My memberships up here is where you are going to see your library cards. Now, as you can see, I have added Public Library of Cincinnati card as well as Lane Libraries card. And in the screen circle is the amount of checkouts I have left per card. And you can also add a new membership. And this is nice if you have multiple cards and just wanna have everything together in one place. Your dashboard up here is where it'll tell you how many movies you have left to check out per month, how many comments you have, and how many videos on your watch list you have. If you get a new library card number, you can hit edit library card, and this is where you can change your library card number or your library pin, and then hit save when you're done. Now this parental controls feature might be very helpful for those of you that have children. So if you click on this, you can turn on parental controls. And what this will do is that it will get rid of all the R-rated movies or the unrated movies that are showing up in Canopy. So you can hit turn on, you'll type in your pin number and hit save pin. So. And then to turn off, all you have to do is enter that pin again and hit turn off. So this way your kids can't just go into it and hit turn off without having your pin number. And this leads us into, if you do have children and you wanna have something children friendly, you can go to Canopy Kids up here at the top by your name. If you click on this, it'll take you to Canopy's portal and this only has kids items and age-friendly items on it. And you can go through the TV series, the movies, Storytime has some picture books as well. And once again, you can always go to browse and this will show you the different movies that are available under each subject. Now to exit Canopy Kids, all you have to do is click Exit Canopy Kids. So this is basically it for Canopy. Once again, you get 10 checkouts per month. You can add multiple library cards. In each checkout that you have, you have three days to watch. Now, if you run into any issues, you are more than welcome to call us or come into any branch and we will gladly help you with this. But once again, it is very straightforward. So I would recommend playing around with it don't worry, you're not gonna break anything. And when you're done, if you wanna sign out, all you have to do is hover over your name and click log out. And that is it for Canopy. Thank you so much.